Hi guys, it's April. We have now reached the midpoint of 2016. Holy cow! We are six months in and so I decided it was time to look back on my 2016 goals and resolutions and decide if I am moving in a direction I still want to move or if I need to push myself in a direction that I haven't been moving yet. Because let's be honest, sometimes we get distracted by bright shiny objects and we decide to change paths. And that's acceptable. So this is what this video is, updating on all of my goals and resolutions and deciding if I want to continue with them or if I just need to change them in some way. Before 2016 began, I put out this goals and resolution video. If you want to go and check that out, you don't have to because I will be covering them all here. The first goal that I had put into place for 2016 was to read at least 104 books for the year. Last year I chose 52 and I far surpassed that goal. But this year I wanted to up it, but at the same time not push myself too far to make it all about the numbers and not about the books, and so I chose 104. Currently, at this point in time, as I am filming this video, I am at 119 books. So I think that goal is okay, and I'm not going to up it because it was only there to get me to continuously read, and it has succeeded in that, and I've got other goals that I want to focus on at this point. I then also wanted to bring down my own to read pile because I had over 300 books that I still needed to read that were on my bookshelf or on my Kindle in various different forms. And yes, I have read 119 books so far this year, so it would seem that, yeah, I've cut that in half like I wanted to. Unfortunately, I have been reading and buying to a one-to-one -one ratio, so I am still currently at 300 books that need to be read by me. So maybe, maybe I need to go on a buying pause <laughs> for the moment. Uh, maybe, uh, okay, yeah. My problem is I start a series that has a lot of books in it, and if I really like that first one, I then buy all of the books in the series so I can just go on and binge that whole series. That has gotten me in trouble so far, but with that being said, I have still read over 80% of the books I own, which is a good ratio in my mind. I will continue to try to bring down my own to be read to at least 150. By the end of the year, I'm going to try my darndest. Try. I then also wanted to continuously review and rate all of the books that I read in the year so that at least on Goodreads or on Amazon or some kind of online platform, I had a memory of reading those books and what I was thinking when I read them. Unfortunately, that hasn't gone very well. There are a few books that I have written some lengthy reviews on, but most of the time I am just giving star ratings and that tends to be because I just, as soon as I finish a book, I continue on with the next one and if it doesn't leave enough of an impact on my brain and there isn't something that I really, really want to talk about, writing about it seems like a chore. I am going to continue to try and get better at that. I might need a bit of a push, so if you know me and you see that I have just given it a star rating, I give you permission to harass me to write down what I thought, but be nice about it, please. In the same veins of reviewing all of the books that I read, I also wanted to up the amount of video reviews that I did on this channel. I think I stated something about doing 1.5 reviews a month, so three reviews every two months. At this point in time, I have done at least eight reviews this year on this channel, and seeing as we've only gone through six months so far, I'm doing pretty well. At least I think so. I'm pretty much on track for doing that and I will continue to do that because the more I do it, the more enjoyment I get out of doing those review videos, even if they are the videos that most people don't watch. I, I do like going into depth about certain books and so when I find those books that I really, really need to get words out about, I find the easiest way is to just, just sit there and ramble about them because writing is harder for me than talking is. So I will continue to expand my review catalog of videos and I hope that's okay with you guys. I did want to do more buddy reviews this year because last year I had just started out with booktube and learning about what 
buddy reads over the internet were like and all that kind of stuff. I have found a permanent reading buddy with Shayla over at Shay Geeks Out. So we have been reading at least a book a month, if not more, where we've been going back and forth. And of course, I've expanded with my roommate, reading more books with her, which has been really fun. I am still open to anybody who wants to do a buddy read with me of any kind. If you have a book that you want to read that you saw I've hauled or wondering if I have read before and maybe we want to read together, totally open with that. Just let me know. Get into contact with me somehow. You can never be reading with too many buddies. Maybe you can be reading too many at one time, but you can never have too many reading buddies. Let me know if you want to read with my face. I also wanted to do more collabs because like I said last year was the first time I started making book videos so I wasn't really up with the collab stuff. And then this year, I have really started getting into collabs, really fun. I've done at least the Book Madness collab and the 10 for 12 with Steve over at the Lawn Gnome, and those were great. There are a few more that I have planned for this year that will be coming, so keep your eye out for those. But like I said before, I am open for collabs of any kind. Just let me know. I'm really bad at thinking of ideas because I'm one of those people who just sits down at the last minute and starts filming something. I, <laughs> I'm not really good at planning things out. But if you have something in mind and you need a warm body to fill a spot, I'm in. I'm just gonna go like this. Air traffic controller! Okay, I'm done. And then my last goal slash resolution for this year was to do more behind the scenes videos, which are my photography videos in which I show the process of creating images. The idea was to do one a month, I believe. Unfortunately, so far this year, I have done a grand total of one of those videos. It was one of my favorite to do because it was at the shelter and showing how I do the shelter shots that they put up on the website for adoptions, which is one of my greatest passions to do. However, I've been a little lacking on... Oh no, I lied! There is also one more. I did do one more behind the scenes in early January. So I had two that have done this this year so far and then things kind of just died. I really do like doing that. I've just been really stuck on the kind of images I should create. I, my brain just hasn't been in that space. I not finding the inspiration that I want and therefore the images aren't coming to me and that is one of the issues with my surreal work is it comes in bursts so I'm still trying to find those kind of inspirations. If you have an idea of an image that you think would be cool and you want to see if I can try and attempt, let me know. I would love to do a collab image with someone, especially a bookish collab image. Just start talking to me guys. I am pretty much open to anything. That's what this year is about about is getting involved with you guys and I think so far I'm doing okay-ish with my goals. Like I said, I need pushed in certain directions and I just want to get more involved in this community and continue talking with you guys. That is 2016 so far. Where are you at in your reading goals? Let me know down below and I heart your beautiful faces. Bye.